I can only hope and pray that SB is not going to help me with this, but uh, I'm not keeping my fingers crossed. Hey guys, it's V. So today we are back again for another unboxing video. This is definitely needing to be unboxed here. I have got all of my single eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, eyeshadow sticks, eyeshadow bases, all that kind of stuff in this box. And so I am ready to get rid of pretty much most of this stuff. So let's just get into the decluttering of all of this. I do have other decluttering videos if you like these kinds of videos. I can link a playlist of all of them up here. I've done like lipsticks and eyeliners and mascaras and everything like that, but let's get into these. I'm just going to slowly dump them out so I do not bust anything, but uh, we're going to get into the cluttering. That was not as smooth as I had hoped. Uh, it hurts. That hurts. That oh, hurts. Okay. All right, so let's get into decluttering. This bin is going to be my either trash or giveaway bin to friends because I know I have lots of friends that have been waiting for me to do an eyeshadow declutter so that they could take some of my eyeshadows. So that is going to be the giveaway or trash pile. I don't think I'll really trash anything, even the really old stuff some of my friends might wanna use. So I will probably not be trashing anything today, but I will definitely be giving it to someone who will use it and then for my keep pile I have this tiny little container because I'm not keeping a lot of this I do not need a lot of this I do not reach for a lot of this so this is my keep pile so let's start out with the first thing that is super close to me right here this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy I got this as my birthday gift was it last year that I got this it's a really pretty color I might be able to depop this one. If I can depop this, I'm gonna keep it. If not, then I'm gonna get rid of it because if I can depot it, I can stick it in a Z palette and I'm sure I will reach for it much more. It's a really beautiful color. It's got like little flecks of glimmer, glimmer, glitter in it. So it's a gorgeous color. I think I'm gonna keep that one for now just because I'm pretty sure I can get it out of this packaging because this is like huge bulky packaging. So keeping that one for now, let's move on to this one here. This is a Wet n Wild little three pan palette in the color cool as cute <laughs> cool <laughs> cool as cucumber so this has some really I'm a mess <laughs> This has some really beautiful shadows in it. This bright green, I don't think I've ever really used. It looks like I've tried it, but I don't think I have. This color is a gorgeous green color, but I just don't reach for this, sadly, even though that's a really pretty color. This is like one of the good quality Wet n Wild eyeshadows, but I just don't really need it. I don't reach for it, so I'm going to put it in the giveaway pile. Let's move on to this one. I obviously got this in an Ipsy. This was an Ipsy and a NYX collaboration. So it was a three shadow palette. I think SB is scratching to get out. No, maybe not, just kidding. I don't see her. So this is a little three pan palette and it's very pretty. It's really nice. I've never, I've never used it, let's be honest. It's a really cute little palette. It's good quality, it's made well. I think that the shadows are pretty pigmented. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's good pigmentation. That's a good pigmentation. That's good pigmentation for those. So I mean, I think I'm going to put this in my giveaway pile just because I never used it. Ooh, that black isn't like amazingly pigmented, but good for someone who wants a subtle smoky eye. So I'm going to put this in my giveaway pile because I'm sure one of my friends will want this. I am going to have to go and buy some more wipes after today because I'm pretty sure I'm going to go through a ton just swatching these colors for you guys. Okay, let's go for another one of these Wet n Wild pans. This one is in the shade Sweet as Candy. I think I remember when I bought this. I think I got it from the Five Below store or something. It's got some really pretty colors in it. Like this is a really nice like highlight color. It's really beautiful, but I just never ever reach for this one again. So I'm going to put it in the giveaway pile. Let's go for the last one of these. This one is beautiful and I used to reach for this a lot more this one is in silent treatment and this bottom color here is really really pretty it's like this most beautiful taupey color see there has a little little sizable dent in there because it is a gorgeous color and I did use it a lot oh, I wish I could depot these and not I don't know I just I'm not gonna reach for it but it's a beautiful color it's almost like duochrome it's super pretty but I just know I'm not gonna reach for it so I'm gonna get it rid of it. Also anything that I did videos on I will be sure to link down below for you guys if there was like I know that I did a video on this one and I that could be it honestly. 
<laughs> oh, this one. I know I did a video on like things that came in sets and things like that. So I'll link the few videos that I have down below. And also like jewelry that I'm wearing. Like this one is from Roxbox. I can leave that down below. My rings, I'll leave where they're from down below. Nail polish, everything will be in the description box. So if you have a question, feel free to check there. Next thing I've got here is a BH Cosmetics Foil to Eyes to Go Six Color Eyeshadow Palette. This came for free in a like order that I placed on BH Cosmetics and I honestly don't think the quality of the eyeshadows is very good. They're super chunky and like really powdery and so they don't apply well on the eyes. So that one is getting given away. This is another thing that I got from Ipsy. This is the Peony Shadow Trio and it's pretty. It's got some really pretty colors. I mean that is a gorgeous gold color but I don't reach for this one so I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is a ColourPop eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Hustle. I'm pretty sure this one is dried out. Yeah, that's disgusting. I'm actually going to put that in a separate pile to trash. That's going to be this pile right here. That's going to be the trash pile. So <laughs> next thing we've got a NYX eyeshadow base. I used this pretty recently actually in a V Vibes and Vents for a cut crease. So I'm going to keep that because it's the only white base that I have and it actually worked really well. Next thing I've got here is one of the, ooh, I knocked the camera there. Next thing I've got here is a Maybelline color tattoo. This one is in Tough as Taupe. I just never ever use these. I think I'm gonna put this in my giveaway because this is actually a really nice color. Like it's a really beautiful like taupey color. It's really pigmented. Someone else will get use out of it. I'm gonna put it in my giveaway pile. Another color tattoo. Oh, my hand's slippery from my <laughs> makeup wipe that I just used. This one is in the shade Just Beige. I think I bought this off of eBay to try and use as like a MAC dupe, but it was super yellow for my skin tone. So I'm going to put that one in the giveaway pile as well. That one's actually, I think that was a limited edition one and it just didn't work for me. So let's go ahead to the next one. This one is in Deep Forest and it was this beautiful green color, but ew. That is super dried out. So obviously that one is old. So that one's going to go in with the ColourPop eyeshadow to be trashed. Let's go with another ColourPop eyeshadow. I just got this one pretty recently, you guys. I did a V Vibes and Vents using this one. Like that was like the main shadow that I used. It's a gorgeous color and it's called Muse, which is obviously why I bought it. It's beautiful. The coppery, mm, the coppery goodness of this shadow is unreal. So definitely keeping that one. I feel like that's like one of the only things I've kept so far. I only have like three things in my little keep pile. And of course they have the bulkiest packaging out of everything. <laughs> Next I've got a bunch of these Physicians Formula Matte Palettes. I'm actually not going to keep any of these because I don't reach for them anymore. I did at one point, you see this one actually broke this shadow, but I did reach for this one a lot as a base shadow and that's why it's got a little dent in it. But I never reach for them anymore and they're pretty bulky and I just need to uh, pass them along to someone who will use them. I think the same story is going to be with both of these Smashbox palettes. I used this one quite a bit actually when I first got it. It's, it's pretty beat up actually. I used to keep it in my makeup bag that I um, keep like in my purse. I used to keep it in there especially for the mirror. This shade is a gorgeous highlight shade. I've used that a bunch of times as a face highlight. It's beautiful but I just never use this anymore so I think one of my friends will get better use out of it. So I'll put that in there and the same goes for this one. I just pretty much never used it. I bought it for a video. I did a review on it but I just don't reach for it. The shadows are actually good quality like they're very pretty pigmented shadows but I just never reach for it. So gonna put that in the go pile. And this thing is going in the go pile. This was a little mini that I got. I think it was in Sephora Play for the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and it came with two shadows in there. I just have never once reached for this so going to give that away as well. Wow I feel like I'm doing actually really good at decluttering. Go me. <laughs> this one is the Laura Mercier Plum Caviar Eye Stick. Oh this is beautiful. I got this in the Sephora Extravagant Eyes set that I reviewed and it's a really pretty color but I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this one or I have another purple eye crayon uh, let's see. It's this one. It's the LOC by Tati. This one is in Night Owl. This is a beautiful color and it's got a little bit more shimmer to it, but it's, it's, it's very similar. I think that the purple shows up a little more. This one I cannot put in my waterline though, because it will murder my waterline. It makes my eyes water terribly, but I think I'm going to keep this one over the Laura Mercier. Oh, I don't know. That's hard. I'm going to keep them both. 
<laughs> no reasoning for that. I'm keeping them both. I just like them both, okay? I think this is actually a similar color too. This is a Mally stick and it's in the shade Plum. So let's see, similarities. I don't like that one very much actually. I think I got this in the first Beautycon box that I ever got. So it's pretty old. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of that one and trash it because it's old, it's old. So let's go ahead and do the rest of the sticks I've got here. I've got this one from Tristique. It is in Venetian gold and I have never once used this. I think I got it again in a subscription box. It's a pretty color, but I definitely don't think I'll use it. So I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile. Whoa, put that in the giveaway pile. Oh, there's a spider in the box. Can you guys see the spider in the box? Oh, no, no, no. No! No! Don't get on the eyeshadows! Okay, I think I killed the spider. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I crushed him with an eyeshadow palette, but we're just gonna pretend like I did because it's going to help me feel better, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash these swatches off real quick and we can swatch some more shadows and forget that that spider ever existed. Look at my cat hair colored sock. That's beautiful. Okay, we're just gonna keep my little my little foot in the frame because it's falling asleep. Okay, so next thing's in the declutter. I've got another one of these LOC and Tati collaborations. If you don't know Tati, she's Glam Life Guru here on YouTube, but this one is in the shade On Point and I love this color. I'm not getting rid of this for anything. Like I'm sad I didn't get a backup of this because it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Just this all over the lid by itself is gorgeous, just with some lashes, like, mmm, killing it. So I'm keeping that one for sure. This one is from Jelly Pong Pong. It is in the shade... I don't think it says anywhere. Does it say anywhere? All right, I don't see the name of what this shade is called anywhere, but I'm gonna get rid of it anyway because it doesn't even swatch nicely. I'm just gonna throw that one away. That does not even swatch nicely. It's super dry, so I don't think any of my friends are gonna even want that. So let's just throw that one away. Then I've got these Revlon Glitter um, Cream Eyeshadow Photo Ready Eye Art is what they're called. This one is beautiful. This is totally like a really close glitter color to Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. The glitters that they have in these are not as good as the Urban Decay glitters in my opinion. They kind of peel up after a little while, but they are still really pretty and I still like both of them a lot. So I'm gonna keep both of them, I think. Let me just swatch them out just to be, just to be sure. I'm gonna be real, I don't really use the, uh, the shadow side, but that is a gorgeous shadow base. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then this one is in, let's see, Sparkle. Do these even have names on them? I don't even know if they have names or anything. This is the pink glitter one. <laughs> the pink glitter is really, really pretty. I think I wore this in a video at one point and it looked really, really cool. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep both of those little shadow glitter things. Let's move on. This was also in the Extravagant Eye Set. It's a really, really pretty base for eyeshadow. Let me just squirt a little bit out. and We can uh, smudge it around. It's from Milk. It's really pretty. It's got like super fine glitters in there. I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. There we go, you can kind of see it's got like super fine purple glitters. Really, really pretty. I haven't really been reaching for this though. Like I said, I just don't really use cream eye bases. So I think I'm gonna have to actually get rid of that one because I just don't, I don't use it. There's no point in me keeping that. This actually, I don't think I've ever used. I got it in, yet again, I think I got it in an Ipsy bag and it is from Pixie and it is in the shade Fairy Dust. So let's go ahead and swatch it. We'll see what it looks like, but pretty sure I'm not keeping it. That's not even pretty. That's not even a pretty color in my opinion. I, it, it doesn't even swatch well or anything. I think I'm just gonna throw that away. It's definitely over a year old. <laughs> Next thing, this also came in the Extravagant Eyes set. It's a NARS eyeshadow. I am keeping this for sure. It is a beautiful, beautiful taupey color. It's in the shade Himalaya. Just look at this. Oh, mm, that is so beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm, keeping you. Next thing is this Stila eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to keep this. I wonder if I can depop this out of here so I can put it on a palette. That's a pretty color. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that one. I don't reach for it enough, but maybe I can depot it and put it in a Z palette. I'm gonna do that. 
Next thing is this Hierarchy eyeshadow in the shade Mink. This was a really, really beautiful color. I don't know why I don't reach for this as much as I should. It's really pretty. It looks kind of similar to the NARS one though, huh? And it doesn't really like come out as good in a swatch. You can't really get it out of there as well. Yeah, I don't think I need to keep that. It doesn't swatch super well. I think it's kind of drying out because it's kind of like a cream almost eyeshadow. So I'm going to put that one in the go pile. Next thing are these Bella Pierre pigments. I think I got these in a set with a TJ Maxx haul that I did. Um, they're just some loose eyeshadows and they're very pretty. But I, again, I just don't reach for them. Like loose eyeshadows are not my thing. I've actually got a bunch of them here and I just don't use them. This one I didn't even really open. So anything that's a loose eyeshadow, I'm Honestly, I'm just going to get rid of them and put them in the go pile. One of my friends will use them, so I'm going to go ahead and just put those away. This one is in Earth, Cocoa, and Champagne. And those other ones, I think this was like just in my pretty recent Ipsy vs. Sephora play video. This is the Star Crushed Minerals Champagne little mineral eyeshadow. And then the other one that I threw in there is from, I think like Naked Cosmetics or something. Yeah, Naked Cosmetics. It's a beautiful glitter. I just don't reach for it. So I don't see a point in me keeping it. It's called Sierra Na Nevada Mica Pigment. So it's very, very beautiful. It's a pretty color. I'm just not going to use it. Okay. And next thing here, I've got a Pacifica little eyeshadow. I think I got this in Ipsy as well. This is in the shade Ethereal. I don't think you can get this anymore, and that makes me so sad because it's such a beautiful color. And I don't want to get rid of it, but, like, I can't really use it in videos or anything because you guys can't get it anymore. It's such a pretty color, though. You know what? I don't really need it. I don't need it. I can give it to someone who will use it way more than I will. Next thing is this Milani eyeshadow. This is in Bella Ivory. I remember I bought this because I wanted to use it as a matte base for like to, you know, set in my um, eyeshadow primer. But I just like first it has a shimmer to it, which is not really what I'm looking for with a base. And I feel like the lasting power of this eyeshadow is just not great. So I'm going to put that in the go pile because I was not a fan. This is the NYX Lace Dentele <laughs> Single Eyeshadow. Again, I got this to use as a base for eyeshadow, and I think this one's actually pretty good. I might keep this one and try and depot it because this one is a pretty... No, there's not that much pigment in that, actually. I'm going to get rid of that one. Never mind. <laughs> Next thing here is the ColourPop Eyeshadow in the shade Koosh. This Mm, I'm not getting rid of this for the world. I don't know if you can even get this one anymore, but if you are able to, this is like one of my new holy grail eyeshadows. Like when I got this, I literally would not stop using it for like a straight week and a half. It is a beautiful, like taupey, almost silvery. It's, it's, it's everything. It's so pretty. So I'm definitely keeping that one for sure. I think I've mentioned this ColourPop shadow numerous times, but this is the Birthday Boy color from ColourPop. They came out with this as like a free gift with purchase for their, um, I don't remember which birthday it was. I think it was their second birthday, but it's a beautiful color. I am not getting rid of this one for sure. It's just so pretty and so unique. It's like a kind of light warm brown shimmer, but it's got like purple iridescent flecks in it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm not getting rid of that one for anything. I love that shadow. Get so many compliments when I wear that. I am for sure not getting rid of this shadow. This is like one of the most expensive shadows in this collection. This is the Thunderstruck shadow from Kat Von D. It makes a beautiful highlight. It's like gold and it's got white iridescent, like almost pink. It's it's just, it's just super unique. I totally recommend getting this if you have the money for it. It's a beautiful highlight and eyeshadow. Inner corner highlight, like, mm, stellar. So keeping that one for sure. This is a Japanese eyeshadow that I got. I think it was on sale for like $2 at Ulta or something. It's in the shade number five. And it's so pretty. I use this all the time during the work week just as a shadow by itself all over the lid. Sometimes I'll put like a light pinky color in the crease like Petal Pusher from Makeup Geek. But I love this shadow so much. So I'm going to keep that one as well. I really like it. Next thing is this little tiny eyeshadow shadow not really an eyeshadow it's actually an eyebrow powder I think I got this in ipsy as well it's from peak and it's called espresso I just never ever use brow powder so I'm gonna get rid of this one and put it in the go pile because I just don't need it and I threw it in there because I didn't have any other brow powders and it was with my eyeshadows. <laughs> so next thing is an Ulta eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bone. I think I'm going to get rid of this because it's not the 
undertone of the kind of colors I like to use as a base shadow. That's why I bought it, but it's a little bit too yellowy. So I think I am going to put that in the go pile because I don't root for it. This I got in an Ipsy as well. It's from Nomad and it's in the shade Desert Sands and it's a beautiful shadow, but I just don't reach for it. I think this one looks like one I can depop though, so I might take that one out. Ooh, it's so pretty. That shade is beautiful. It's got decent pigmentation to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and depop that one. It looks like one that can come out with a magnet, so I'm going to keep that one. This next one is from MAC. It is, it came in the Look in a Box set that I got and it's in the shade Divine Decadence and honestly I had never tried a MAC eyeshadow before this and I, I'm not holding it against this eyeshadow but it's terrible so <laughs> it's like extremely dry like you guys see how hard I'm rubbing in there you can get pigment out of it but then when you go to swatch it just it's just not a good shadow you guys with a brush I cannot pick it up to save my life it's just not a good shadow at all so I'm putting that in the go pile I did not like it Last but not least, we have this little nude dude eyeshadow that I got from Ipsy in the shade Flirty. That's actually a really pretty shade. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. It's like, can you guys tell it's kind of like purple, but it's got like a gold iridescentness to it. Oh, it doesn't swatch well. That's disheartening. That would have been so pretty if it... <laughs> That looks like it's going to be so pretty, but you really have to build it up to get anything out of it. And I just don't reach for these, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one as well. So that is everything, you guys. I got rid of a lot of eyeshadows in this, and my leg is totally asleep. This foot, this foot that you guys just saw, I just took it out of frame, is literally... I don't, I think I'm not going to be able to walk for a little bit. So, um, let's go ahead and look at my damage that I did. So, we have got some trash eyeshadows right here. Only five things, but they were all pretty old. So, those definitely needed to go. In terms of what I'm keeping, I mean, this is like nothing. There's hardly anything in this pile. So, I'm pretty proud of that. I, I think that this is definitely a lot more manageable. I had all of this stuff sitting either on my makeup vanity or just in a drawer. And I just didn't use it. It was just going to waste. So, I know, I know that my friends are going to be so excited to go through this and pick out some eyeshadows. So, I am happy to declutter them if they are going to go to a good home. So, that is everything for this declutter video for you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to show some love to the like button right down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my muse family and i love you guys so so much thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys